Welcome to the Gorilla 7 video series. There are dozens of new features in Gorilla 7, and many more video lessons that go along with it. This is an overview of some of the new features of Gorilla Scheduling 7 and Gorilla Budgeting 7. Gorilla 7 has a new updated look. You can navigate to any module by selecting that button in the top toolbar. For more commonly used functions, use the toolbar on the bottom of the screen. The new Show Screenplay button allows you to view your screenplay right on the breakdown sheet screen. All tagged elements will be color-coded with the category color for easy viewing. You can expand this view or collapse it. You can now tag your screenplay by selecting a word or a phrase in the screenplay display, tapping the spacebar, and selecting a breakdown category to attach the new tag to. Once tagged, the word or phrase will highlight with that category color. You can still add elements such as props, costumes, and other elements by manually creating that element as in previous versions of Gorilla. Gorilla now supports screenplays saved in the FDX format, which are written in Fade In and Writer Duet, in addition to Final Draft. Using Celtix, Gorilla now supports importing a screenplay written or saved in the Fountain format, a simple markup syntax for writing screenplays. If you do use Final Draft, Gorilla now imports the summary entered for scenes in the new Summary tab on the Breakdown Sheets screen. Many times, a screenplay contains different text that are, in actuality, elements that have already appeared previously in the screenplay in that scene or another scene. To prevent creating multiple tags for the same element, even if they have a slightly different name, Gorilla 7 introduces Also Tagged As, or Reuse Element. For example, in this scene, Food Spattered T-shirt is already tagged as a costume. In another scene, it is referred to in the screenplay as Dirty Shirt, but it is the same costume used in the previous scene. You can highlight the phrase dirty shirt in this scene, tap the spacebar to bring up the tagging window, then select costumes, and in the reuse existing tag list, select food spattered t-shirt. Notice that the highlighted text will be dirty shirt, but the tag used in the schedule will be this already existing tag. And you will see that reference in the scheduled elements for scene list. Gorilla 7 now supports multiple episodes within the same schedule. Next to the scenes field, there is a new episode field. So it's possible to have two scene fives, one for episode one and one for episode two. To view the episode number on the Scene Navigator, select Show Episode Number from the Sort button. By flagging an episode number for a scene, you can specify which episode to print if you select this checkbox on the Print Reports screen and choose certain reports that display Select Episode. You can also see the episode number on the stripboard. Lastly, if you use the Add Screenplay feature to add another episode to the existing schedule, you can specify which episode number to add to all the newly imported scenes. You can now import elements such as props or costumes directly from the breakdown sheet screen. Select the category, then the Import button. Organize your Excel list with the element name in the A column and click Import. You can also do a quick web search for an image of that element and then capture the image and paste it directly into Gorilla. Another new feature 
is the ability to export data from your schedule from one central place. Previously, Gorilla exporting could only be done from the module you were on. The new export button on the reports screen allows you to quickly see which reports can be exported. Another highly requested feature is the option to export the day out of days report to Excel. You will find a new checkbox when running the day out of the days report that gives you the option to export the data to an Excel document. You will also see this option in the export to Excel list from the report screen. Many of the reports have been updated. Here is a list of some of the enhancements. You can now quickly navigate to a shoot day by clicking the shoot day in the scene navigator. By default, it takes you to the call times tab where you can enter call times for your actors. Once here, you will notice some more new functions like going to another shoot day and the new quick preview button. You can set a crew call time to OC, which stands for on call. This will display on the call sheet for that crew member. This field will also import into Koala call sheets. The shoot day calendar has been updated in Gorilla 7. At a quick glance, you can see which days are shoot days or off days. To add a shoot day, you can now click the day on the calendar. To expand the calendar to a more detailed view, click the Expand button. To change the phase displayed, select the convenient Active Phase pull-down. And to go to the detailed view for the shoot day, click on that day. The new Location Day Count shows you how many scheduled days that location is needed for shooting. In addition, if you import your locations to your linked budget, this number imports into the amount field on your detail line item. If we go back to the strip board, not only can you display the episode number if that is selected in the sort navigation, you can also display your character names instead of the numerical ID for that character. You can also opt to display extras on the strip board. Other strip board enhancements include adding a new scene directly from the board. In previous versions of Gorilla, you had to create a new scene from the breakdown sheet screen. In Gorilla 7, if you need to create a new scene while on the strip board, select the Add Scene button. Scenes that are grayed out are already active on the current board. Scenes that are X'd out, such as these, are not available for the current phase. Click on the plus button and you can instantly add a new scene, which will be added to the strip board phase. To edit the scene, go back to the breakdown sheet screen. Just like you can create a new scene from the strip board without going to the breakdown sheet screen, you can now add a new shoot day while viewing the board without going to the shoot day calendar. To do so, select Add Daybreak Create New Shoot Day from the strip board pull down menu. Scroll down to the end of the board and your new daybreak will be created. Similarly, you can delete the last daybreak by selecting the Remove Last Daybreak Delete Shoot Day option under the same Stripboard pull-down menu. New Stripboard view options allow you to magnify or decrease the size of the Stripboard, use a larger font on the board, and where to position the board upon opening it. Another new feature is Combine Categories. In the Elements module, you can select Combine Categories under the Elements menu. This is important if a screenplay is imported and has multiple categories that are similar. For example, costumes and wardrobe. You wouldn't want both. You would want to combine them. But say there are dozens of elements attached to each category. This feature 
combines those categories into one category. Every element can have an ID associated with it. A new category abbreviation feature allows you to customize an abbreviation before a category ID. For example, in this props list, let's say we want to add an ID for each added prop. You now have the option of adding an abbreviation before the element so you can quickly identify the category it belongs to. This abbreviation, along with the ID, will show up on most of the category and or element reports. Lists of elements used in a feature film can number in the thousands, making it difficult to navigate screens and to locate elements in lists. The Hide Element feature in the Element Manager allows you to hide elements that will most likely not be scheduled more than once. In this way, when you are breaking down a schedule with hundreds of elements, you don't have to constantly search through elements you don't normally schedule. You can now filter the Element Manager to quickly find a category and then sort those elements. There is also a new Delete Found Elements option that allows you to delete all found elements with one keystroke. You are probably aware that Gorilla saves your work as you go, but it's always a good idea to make a backup of your schedule or budget. The new Auto Save feature auto saves your schedule or budget at set interval times. Save schedules and budgets are automatically saved in the Documents folder and can be automatically versioned, so that's one less thing you need to worry about. Gorilla Budgeting also has many new features in version 7. Sporting a new look allows for section divisions on the top sheet to be more easily noticed. A new, faster calculation method allows for much faster navigation to and from the top sheet. Subtotals on the bottom of the top sheet can now be selected, providing a quick summary of that calculation and color-coded stars, each representing fringes, add-ons, credits, deferred payments, for example, show you where that amount is coming from. The new Classic Detail Report gives you a presentation page or budget summary, followed by the top sheet with page numbers for the detail for that line. This new report also includes the fringes right underneath the detail line item for which it belongs to. Speaking of page numbering, this is now displayed on the top sheet and can be updated manually by selecting the top sheet menu and then selecting Update Page Numbers on the top sheet. A much requested feature is the ability to undo that last delete in the budget. This option is now available if you delete an account on the top sheet or category, an entire section on the top sheet, an account line on the account level, or a detail line item on the detail level. Only the last delete for any of the mentioned sections can be restored. As mentioned for the schedule, Auto Save Budget is now a new feature. You can set the auto save time increment in the save preferences in the project manager. Gorilla already allows importing certain items such as cast and crew from a schedule into a budget. A new feature allows you to automatically update the rate. So if a rate for a crew member is specified in a linked schedule and that rate is changed in the schedule, it will automatically update in the budget. You can now use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate up and down the rows on your top sheet, account, or detail levels. Gorilla already has top sheet and detail notes. You can now enter general notes about the budget. On the detail level, 
there is now a one-click option for creating your prep, shoot, and wrap lines. First, you want to specify what those values are in budget preferences. Normally, values here are specified in weeks. So if you enter two for prep, six for shoot, and one for wrap, then go to the detail level and select the insert prep shoot wrap button, three new lines will be created with those weak values. If you block a detail line item, there was no way you could see that on the top sheet. Now, if an item is blocked, a red dot will appear next to the subtotal for that line indicating that either all or some of the accounts attached to the top sheet category are blocked. This will also be displayed on the account level with a star B. If the item is deferred, it will be noted with a star D. Similarly, if a fringe is attached to a detail line item, you will see that noted with the letter F on the corresponding account level. Not only are there new scheduling and budgeting features, the storyboard module has been completely overhauled. New shot groups allow you to organize shots and storyboards based on shoot day, scene, or any other group you want to create as opposed to only scene. You can duplicate a single shot or storyboard to another shot group or duplicate an entire shot group, which is a set of shots, to another shot group. You can also enter specific action and or dialogue to a shot description. The Gorilla Guide is back for both scheduling and budgeting. Access the most updated version online directly from within Gorilla by selecting the Extras pull-down menu and then selecting Gorilla Guide. Prefer to sit back and watch videos? There are dozens of new training videos available to watch for Gorilla 7. Remember, this is just a quick overview of all the new features that are available in Gorilla 7. For a complete list, check out our Gorilla scheduling and budgeting pages on our website, junglesoftware.com. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.